Hi. Now that GPU drivers for the Steam Deck are finally available, you might feel tempted to install Windows on it. In this simple and fully reversible tutorial, I'll show you how to install Windows besides SteamOS on your internal storage of the Steam Deck. I've added chapters in this video, so you can just skip ahead if you're already familiar with the steps shown. So for this to work, you need a USB stick or micro SD card at least 8 gigabytes in size. So yes, the Steam Deck will boot both USB sticks and micro SD cards. If you have a dedicated USB stick or micro SD card laying around for Gparted, one gigabyte is enough. You can use that, it's just a little more convenient. Besides that, you will need 32 gigabytes of free space on the Steam Deck. 24 gigabytes is the absolute minimum, which I tried because I'm only running the 64 gigabyte version. With that, I could install all the necessary updates and so on, but it's a very tight fit and not really enough to install anything else. And fourth, recommended but not required a micro SD card to install your Windows games onto. So if you have a Steam Deck with more internal storage, 256 gigabytes or more, you can of course install the games directly onto this. And one additional note, you can resize the partitions without any issues or data loss after you've installed Windows. So let's start first with a download of Rufus. So you can find it at rufus.ie and the next step will be to obtain a copy of Gparted, which is the main tool which we will use to shrink the partition size down. So we will make space on the deck for Windows. You can find it at gparted.org. And last but not least, download Windows 10. There you can download the media creation tool. So let's start with Rufus and let's write the image onto the micro SD card or USB stick. So for that, you need to select the ISO file you just downloaded. Make sure you have the correct device selected. Just click start and wait for the process to complete. So now let's boot Gparted on the Steam Deck. Make sure your Steam Deck is powered off, hold volume up and then press and hold power on your Steam Deck to bring up the boot menu, as you can see here. So mine is still running SteamOS at this point. So you will see a one entry called EFI, Extensible Firmware Interface Hard Drive. And the other one is the USB stick I just plugged in. So select that and wait for Gparty to start. Uh, the D-pad is mapped to the arrow keys, so you could navigate around, but you can basically just press A, which is mapped to the enter key, to accept all the default options, which will be totally sufficient to what we're going to do with it. Once Gparty is loaded, select slash dev slash NVMe0N1, which is the internal drive of your Steam Deck, and select the partition number 8 called slash dev slash nvme 0 n one p 8 and is labeled home. This is where all your user data will reside. Then right click and select resize slash move and set the free space following value to 32,768 megabytes or at least 24,576 if you don't have that much space free. But as I said, that'll be a super tight fit to even install any applications. Then click on Resize and Move and to apply the changes, click the green check mark in the top menu. Wait for completion, close Gparted, click on Exit and select Shutdown. Now start the media creation tool and select Create Installation Media. On the next page, if the architecture is not set to 64-bit, untick Use the recommended options for this PC and set it manually. On the next page, select the USB flash drive and continue again. Then you will be prompted to select the drive onto which the Windows setup should be copied. Once this is done, we can finally boot the Windows setup on the Steam Deck. Again, make sure the Steam Deck is powered off and as before, hold down volume while pressing power and then select the USB stick from the boot menu. So now just continue through the setup as normal. I guess you familiar with installing Windows and select the unallocated space we created using Gparted as the target for your Windows 10 installation. Once the installation is completed, you can head to Valve's support page where you will find the GPU, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers. When you're done with all of that, power your Steam Deck down again and as we did before, hold volume plus and power to bring up the boot menu again. But this time, select the entry called Select File. 
and within there navigate to ESP, EFI, boot, and launch boot x64.efi to boot into SteamOS again. Once SteamOS is booted up, switch to the desktop mode and open up a console, Xterm for example. Use passwd if you haven't set a password for the user yet. I would highly recommend to install Core Keyboard from the Flathub application store that comes with the Steam Deck to get a proper on-screen keyboard so you can enter the following commands. So now the very important part is to use EFI Boot Manager to add a boot entry for SteamOS again, so we can start it right from the boot menu. So enter the command you're seeing at the top. Where you see SteamOS, this will be the label of the boot entry. You can modify this if you want to. And after that, use sudo EFI Boot Manager minus minus verbose to check that the entry has been created successfully, as you can see here on my output. To test all this, power down your Steam Deck again, press volume up and power simultaneously, and then you will be greeted with the boot menu again, but this time you will see two entries. One is for the Windows Boot Manager, and one will be called SteamOS or whatever you have set as a label. As I said, you can use Gparted later on to resize the partitions if needed, so I will just quickly go through this. The steps are basically the same. Once Gparted is loaded, select the correct drive again, select partition number 8, labeled home and click resize move to reduce its size to your needs and then select partition number 9 and 10 which have been created by windows and ensure free space preceding is set to zero for both of them and then you should also select partition number 10 and increase its size to the new free space that has been created at the end of your device. Then click the green check mark, wait for it to complete, close Gparted, double click exit and select shutdown. And now your Steam Deck is dual booting. Have fun, keep on playing.